YouTube so today I am going to show you how I curl my hair and what I use and what sort of technique I use and stuff like that so I've done a video where I curl my hair before but I think it was a get ready with me video and that was ages ago but I do still use the same curling wand I use the new me and um, Titan 3 and 1 curling wand and it comes with the big barrel um, the medium sized barrel and the small barrel. I kind of switch between um, the medium sized barrel and the large barrel um, depending if I'm doing my hair that night to go out that night or if I'm doing it for the next morning like tonight I am. So if I'm doing it um, for going out the same night I use the large um, barrel because then it doesn't get as long to drop so they're still big bouncy curls. And for the night before, I always use the medium barrel just because overnight your hair drops a lot, but by the morning it's still a nice curl. So I'm just making sure I'm in focus. Still a nice curl. So I'm going to switch these over to use the medium sized barrel. All you do is press the wee black button at the back and twist the top off. And then again, you just pop this on, although you have to make sure it is lined up this is the one that i'm going to use you do get a glove and stuff with it but i do not use the glove um but don't worry if you do not have the titan um three in one set you can basically do this with any curling wand the same technique as i do and get the same effect whatever suits you best and um, but i'm just going to show you personally how i curl my hair so i'm just going to quickly plug them in and let them heat up And I'm just turning them on and bringing it up to 200 degrees. I do it the hottest I can um, just because that's what I personally need for my very, very straight hair. This um, curling wand is the only curling wand that actually lets my curls stay in for days until I wash my hair again. I used to try to curl it with DHDs. I used to try to curl it with all different curling wands and they never stayed in. Even if I'd done it that night, went out that night, by about 12 o'clock at night they would have been dropped out anyway and sorry if you can hear jingling it is my Santa t-shirt I literally came straight out of work straight to filming this because I want to get it up for you tomorrow so sorry if I look a bit of a mess a bit of a hot mess I have been in work all day so I'm going to show you how I curl my hair just quick and easy um, as you can see I have blonde hair and I am not naturally blonde um, so I was thinking of doing an updated hair care routine because my hair is in great condition it's um, actually really good condition especially for being so blonde um, and I know how to keep hair in good condition and just manageable too um, so I was thinking of doing an updated like um, how to get your hair longer, how to grow your hair, how to look after your hair um, and stuff like that because I have extremely long hair so if you are interested in an updated one of that then please thumbs this video up or let me know in the comments okay so now this is heated up this is at 200 degrees I do not personally section my hair I don't have particularly massively thick I have a lot of hair but I don't it's not massively thick so if you have really really thick hair put it put it into sections if you want um also a tip if you have curly hair if you're going to curl your hair that you want kind of the big luminous um bouncy curls i do advise although this is a lot of heat on your hair i do advise you to straighten your hair first because curly hair often tends to be a wee bit more frizzy so um by, by straightening it, it gets the frizziness out and then curling it again gives you the sleek curls that you want. So that's just a wee bit of advice for my curly hair girls. Of course I have naturally straight hair. I haven't even straightened my hair. This is just how straight it is naturally. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. So I'm just going to, I always start with this section. I bring my hair around in two sections. So just, this is how I kind of um, separate mine. Just one section here and one section here and I always start with the section that has the least on it which is the part where my fringe doesn't fall to so I basically just grab sections like this and I personally don't like my curls the whole way up I like them kind of starting mid about here so I just grab them and curl 
like that. And these, this Titans 3 in 1 is so extremely quick at curling your hair. So you barely even need to hold um, hold your hair in it for any time at all because it just does it so, so quick. So my advice is, because I curled my hair that way for that one, I'm now going to curl it the opposite way for the curl beside it. Um, just to make sure that when you brush it out and when you but, like brush it out with your fingers that they don't all go together as one big kind of curl say um, by doing it like this they won't join together because they're going two different ways however when I used to watch um, tutorials I always um, freaked out in case I couldn't remember what way the curl before went and the girls in the tutorials were saying make sure you do vice versa one way one way blah 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 and I always kind of freaked out because I thought I would never get a good curl see if you forget um, what way that you've done the last curl just make a new way because I mean at the end of the day some curls are going to come together anyway like I think I've done this one the same as my last curl um, but it's not it's not a massive um, deal anyway so I just cut it like this and I hold it for maybe about four seconds each and just drop it and it just gives you the curl. Now these look very precise and tight curls which I personally don't like. Um, so I will show you at the end what I do with curls um, with the curls after to give you the big bouncy curls that you want. Um, so I'm just going to speed this wee bit up because it's quite obvious of what I'm doing now and I'll just get on with it. Okay, so now I have this side curled, I leave it with them all still tight and nice and precise until I, I get the other side curled too. Sorry, I'm in my jammies because I got to instead of my work trousers, but I kept my wee top on. So I'm going to show you how to do this side, the way that I do my fringe and stuff, because I do have a long fringe, although it's a bit of a mess, um, because again, I haven't straightened my hair, so it kind of curls in a wee bit. But I just get the longest part of my fringe and the next longest piece of hair and curl it down. And as you can see, some parts are falling out, but I don't mind that because I do not want my fringe curled tight. I just like to curl it so then when I go like that, it sits away from my face. And then again, I just grab hair around it and curl in opposite ways. Another tip I like to do is kind of grab sections in different sizes. So one maybe I would take like an inch, an inch thick of hair and the other one I would take slightly less and the other one I would take slightly, slightly more just to give it real um, different textures of curls because the more hair that you get in one bit will give it a more looser curl, the, more curl, the less hair that you get in another bit will give it a tighter curl and then when you brush it all out and make them all bouncy then they'll all be kind of different which gives you the real bouncy effect. Okay, so one thing I like to do when I think I have all my hair curled is to get up and bring my hair around like this and look in the mirror and see if I can see any wee straight bits poking through, which today I actually really can't. Um, sorry, I'm looking past you into the mirror behind the camera. And today I can't, um, which is a good thing because it means that I haven't missed any out. So I'm just going to turn that off and set it on the floor. So now this is where I kind of get, get it a wee bit looser. You can at this point add hairspray. I personally don't because I don't like hairspray on my hair. I just don't really like my hair being like crunchy which I find a lot of hairsprays like do make your hair. Although if um you know a hairspray that holds your curls that doesn't make your hair crunchy please let me know because I would love to know. So this is the stage where I, I just finger comb my curls out. So I just kind of get my fingers and brush the curls out with my fingers, which is the, where you get the big bouncy effect. Um, run your fingers through your hair, make it how you want. And then 
kind of piece it the set how you want. I personally always like my hair better um, on second day or no, on, like the second day I curl my hair. So when I go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow, I always like my hair better. But I personally love how my hair looks curled. I prefer my hair curled, curled way more than having it straight. I just think it's so much funner and bouncier and pretty. And yeah, so this is how I curl my hair. Um, I know this is pretty self-explaining video but I just thought I get loads of questions on what I use and stuff on my Instagram pictures and snapchat so I thought I would do a video just to explain how I get my, the look that I get with my curler so yeah you can set this with a hairspray in the morning I would sometimes spritz a wee bit of hairspray over it but yeah this is the way I'm leaving it now so please thumbs up if you like this video and thank you so much for watching and yeah, any video suggestions, leave them in the comment box below and I love you all. Bye.